Welcome to another tutorial of Proflan YouTube channel. In this particular video, I want us to go through um, the questions of uh, paper 1H of November 2024. So these are the questions that made students cry in the exam examination room. If you are new to Proflan YouTube channel, consider subscribing so that anytime I'm going to upload another tutorial, you'll be notified. So to avoid crying, uh, make sure you uh, subscribe for that uh, may june exam so the coming exams you can be able to do well so this guy here was um looking at a question that was asked on arithmetic series and th the information that was provided is that the series has first term a and the common difference d so when this guy saw this question he literally cl uh, cried in the exam room so he didn't realize that sum of n terms is given by the formula and sum the nth term of an arithmetic series is given this formula. So to avoid to cry during um, sum of arithmetic series questions during exams, you need to remember these two formulas. So you are told the sum of the first 30 terms is equals to 4395. So you are to say that over 2 into 2a into n minus 1. Uh, n is 30, so it will be 30 minus 1 to be 29d is equal to 4395. Then we simplify that equation. We have the first equation as uh, 2a plus 29d is equal to 293. Then we are told that the sum of the 10th term and the 20th term, so meaning you are going to find the 10th term using this formula and the 20th term using the same formula here, then we shall form two terms a plus 9d the 10th term a plus 19d the 20th term so if we add the two must give us 284 that we are given at that given point so we are going to have two simultaneous equation um this one here and the other simultaneous equation that we formed this one here then solving them we shall get d equals to 9 and a is going to be 16. So, look at the question that was asked. Sum of the first 45 terms. So, what is the sum of the first 45 terms? Then we are going to use this formula that we have mentioned at this given point. And then if you work it out, you get 96, 30. So, I believe in time you are going to give, be given a question on uh, sequence and series. You will not be like this gentleman. Let's see the other question that make, made this guy cry. Is the question to do with um, uh, curves and minimum points. So this guy did not remember that if you are told the curve of the equation y equals to 2x raised to power 4 minus 64x as a minimum point, to find the equation of the tangent first you have to differentiate. Differentiating you take the power down more times the number that is here so it actually becomes 8x cubed minus 64. But at the uh, minimum point dy dx is equal to zero so you were to equate that and solving that x became two then remember at the turning point dy dx is equal to zero so, so the gradient of the tangent at the minimum point also will be equal to zero and then um, we need to find the value of y at the minimum point or so the turning point Turning point x, we got it too, so we can substitute it to this original equation to get the value of y as negative 96. But to find the equation of the tangent, is y equals to mx plus c, but our gradient is 0, x is 2, c is the one that we are looking for, y is nine, negative 96. So uh, this equation end us, ends up being negative 96 as the equation of a tangent at that given point. Another equation that question that made that guy cry is that t equals to x squared plus y squared over w. We are given these um, uh, values. Uh, x is correct to one decimal place, so it will be plus or minus 0 0.05. Y is correct to two significant figures, so it will be plus or minus 0 0.5. Uh, w is correct to the nearest 5, so it will be 5 divided by 2, it will be plus or minus that. So to find the upper bound of t, it will be upper bound of x plus upper bound of y divided by lower bound of w, and the answer should be 12.8. So anytime you have a question like this, I believe you will not be able to cry. 
Now let's move and check the other question that made that guy cry. This question of a hemisphere of a bowel. Remember we find a volume of a sphere is a 4 over 3 pi r cubed. But since it's a hemisphere, we multiply by a half. So volume of hemisphere is three, uh, 2 over 3 pi r cubed. So um, the first volume will be this. Uh, 2 over 3 pi times radius of the smaller inner, inner hemisphere is uh, basically radius is 9. So the volume becomes 486 pi volume of the biggest m sphere it will be we shall use the radius 12 and then now the bowel the volume of the of uh, the the volume of the metal yeah the volume of the metal used to make the bowel is going to be subtracting 1152 pi minus 486 pi and that becomes 2092 another question that may question that made our friend cry is where the the student was asked to the curve c has a question y equals to x squared minus 8x minus 9 and this question made many cry by the way many cried the straight line l has the equation y equals to k where k is an integer c and l intersect at their point a and b the coordinate of a is pk and b is qk um given that p minus q is 14 find the value of k showing you are uh, working so the first thing that you are supposed to do is to equate this equation and this to solve them simultaneously. So you should have uh, substitute where, where you have where you substitute k. So we have this equation. And um, then substitute the next thing we did, I did here, p, because our x here is p. So I'll substitute anywhere I have x, I'll substitute p. And I formed an equation. For that so i formed an equation for p and also substituted q into this i formed another equation for q in terms of q so we have k and the k here we can be able to equate the two so that we shall have this equation like this here i've equated this uh, to k here so that i can be able to cancel those terms that are cancelling q squared will cancel uh, 8q will cancel so i remained with the equation that is uh, 28q uh, is equals to negative 308 divide by 28 all true q became 11 and we can now we could sus uh, substitute q into this equation so that we get p and i got my p to be 25 but the question was find the value of k now, once you have the value of P and the Q, you can substitute to any of this eh? so that you can be able to get the value of K. And I got my value of K by substituting into this one here. So I got my value of K as 24. Let's check which other question made these guys cry. We are going to look into that. See you in the next video. Thank you.